We've shaken off the cobwebs of Monday, and now we're in Tuesday, which is going to be great. So looking forward to finishing our week strong as we continue day two of week five here. Now, we talked to you a little bit yesterday that coming starting on Thursday, we are going to be celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month every day on announcements in the Eagle's Nest. I'm looking forward to that. We're also going to have some grade levels that are coming on each and uh, every week that are going to be presenting as well live on morning announcements. It's going to be a lot of fun. I am excited about that. So we start that on Thursday of this week, along with the other stuff that we're doing on morning announcements. It's going to be great. So you don't want to miss it. You got to be here on time. If you're watching right now, guess what? That means you're on time, which is fantastic. Hey, make sure, scholars, that you were doing two things for me. First things first. We want to make sure that our cell phones are put up in our book bags. You're doing great with this so far. Let's not make those a distraction this year. So keeping those up either before or after announcements, whenever your teacher asks you to do that. So great job with that so far this year. Continue to do that. Also with our hallways, want to make sure we continue to remind ourselves to be voice level zero as a school. We're doing very well with this, but we want to continue to make sure that we are doing this tomorrow and then on Thursday. We're going to be taking uh, a couple of assessments or tests uh, in your classrooms. They won't take long, I promise. But to do your best, I want to make sure that there's we're eliminating any distractions in the hallway. So that's how you can help me out with that and help other teachers and scholars with that as well, making sure that you are at voice level zero. So thank you so much for that. I uh, saw a lot of our scholars get outside yesterday. Should be able to do the same today as the rain percentage is much lower today. And then for the remainder of the week, it's looking pretty good. Um, I like on Wednesday where it says less humid. That's always a good thing, right? So as we approach the fall season, hopefully it'll get a bit, little bit cooler outside. And then, of course, here we are. We have our Fairview 5. So I want to make sure that all of our scholars are locked in right now. So your side conversations aren't happening right now. You are locked in actively listening to the speaker, which is me. And we are doing our Fairview 5 and knowing what these are. So you can say them along with me if you'd like to, if you're trying to still memorize these. But memorizing these is one thing. That's what a good scholar does. A great scholar does these things every single day. An elite scholar helps everybody else do these things every single day, right? So I'm looking for elite scholars in the Eagle's Nest. So number one, we're actively listening to the speaker. Number two, we keep our hands and feet to ourselves. Number three, we clean up our area. Number four, we be kind to others with our words and our actions. And number five, we do our best daily. Hey, a shout out to two of our fifth grade scholars, for uh, number three, cleaning up your area. I know Alondra and Denari spend a lot of their time during recess putting on some gloves, taking some trash bags, and picking up all around the school. Nobody asks them to do that. They just do that, and that is what I'm talking about. That's not only leadership, but it's also Fairview 5 number three, cleaning up your area. And one of my favorite things about that is they're picking up trash that they didn't have anything to do with. Right. And so uh, with clean up your area, a lot of times we think to ourselves, oh, well, it's not mine, so I'm not going to do it. No, this is our school, our community. So we want to make sure that we're keeping our school picked up and cleaned up. So shout out to those fifth graders for continuing to do that um, during their recess time. That is some awesome stuff. All right, moving all along. We, yesterday we introduced vocabulary and on Mondays we're going to introduce the word and the definition. And on Tuesday, we'll show a picture of that. And then on Wednesday, we'll do a sentence. All right. So yesterday, if you remember correctly, and I ask a couple of you in the hallway um, is what the word was. I want you to make sure you remember what the word is at all times in case Mr. Hagee asks you. Right. The word was develop. D-E-V-E-L-O-P. Develop. We talked about what develop meant. It means to grow and advance gradually over time. So to grow over time. So today, I want to show you a quick picture. So check out this um, right beside me. You'll see that popping your screen. So check that out. That is one, two, three, four, five different trees. But excuse me, it's the same tree, but five different pictures of it. But I know it's a little small, so I'll read the bottom of it. But the very far, uh, the very first picture of the tree is from year one, right? When you plant the tree, then year five, then year 15, 10, 15, and 20. So look at what the tree is doing over time. 
it is developing over time. Its branches are getting stronger. Its leaves are getting bigger. Its roots are growing further into the ground. It's developing more into a bigger tree. So if you take a look at the definition to grow and advance gradually over time, that's exactly what a tree does, right? Developing into the tree that is big and something that um, you'd never want to take down, that it's there, it covers, it shades you um, when you're in recess or whatever it may be. So take a look at that picture once again, develop to grow gradually over time. So tomorrow, right here in this box, we'll have a couple sentences to bring it to life and then we'll review it again on Thursday. So I am looking forward to that. All right, at this time, I'm gonna stop sharing so I can come um, and bring up our text that we have for this week. And so we've been talking about uh, a text called the hard hat. So with the hard hat, we know that we've got a couple of main characters in there. And if you remember from the other a day, Mickey is a really good, what sport does she play? I can't hear you. What was it? Oh, somebody said it, basketball. That is correct. Now she's really good. And they're trying to get a hard hat award. And the hard hat award showcases team work and being the best teammate that you can be. So she was going through the game and she got pulled out of the game, even though she was scoring the most points. And she didn't really understand why she got put on the bench, but the coach played somebody else by the name of Jax. And then at the end of the game, they put everybody in the locker room. And then the coach, Coach Viola, reached into his bag, pulled out the big, red, shiny hard hat, right? And this is where we left off yesterday. It said Mickey held her breath. And after a lot of thought, the coach said, I'm excited to announce that the hard hat award goes to Jax. Congratulations on winning the hard hat award and being such a good teammate. As Mickey and her grandfather walked across the gym after the game, her grandfather said, great game, Mickey. Why do you have such a sad face? Well, Grandpa, I was the best player on the team, and I scored the most points, but I still didn't win the hard hat award. Well, the grandfather said, well, Mickey, there's a difference between being a, the best player and being the best teammate. There is, asked Mickey. It sure is a mystery to me. And the grandfather goes on to say, well, solving a mystery always begins with some good old fashioned detective work and gathering clues. Why don't you start by watching Jax? Watch what he does at practice and during games. Even watch him when he's on the bench. Here you go. Every good detective needs a notebook for gathering clues, said her grandfather with a smile. Thanks, Pops. So there's Mickey after the game with her grandfather. Remember, she's asking, you know, why didn't I win this award? I should have won this award. And the grandfather's like, well, you know, not every great player is a great teammate, right? So you've got to be a, to be a good teammate. Why don't you check out what the person that won the award was doing, right? It reminds me a lot of being a scholar of the week. So if you're not a scholar of the week, why aren't we looking at what the scholars of the week that are named on Fridays, what are they doing to become a scholar of the week? Because that's what I want to do. And that's what I want to become as a scholar. All right. Two more pages today. It says from that day on, Mickey imagined that she was a detective. She watched Jax at practice and searched for clues in the gym, on the court, during water breaks, on the bench. And even after practice, she put all the clues in her notebook. So just if you're following along, Mickey is just keeping note of all of the things that Jax does because she wants to find out why Jax is such a good teammate. After a week of detective work, she couldn't wait to share her clues with her grandfather that night at dinner. Mickey opened her notebook to show Pops her detective work. I needed a way to make sense of all of these clues. So for each one, I wrote a word or a phrase to describe what Jax did. For example, He's always at gym early to practice his shooting. So I use the words hard work and effort. So there's a picture of Mickey's notebook. And there's a practice she's being a detective. So we'll find out more tomorrow on other ways. And remember, one of the things that we're trying to do is find out the 10 ways to be a great teammate. And so hard work and effort, I think Mickey is already deciding and seeing what Jax is doing to be a great teammate. And one of the things that we'll do when we finish out this story this week is we'll be connect, we'll begin, excuse me, connecting it 
to how you can be a great teammate as a scholar every single day in the Eagle's Nest. With that being said, I'm looking forward to seeing you in action today. Hey, I hope you have a terrific Tuesday. And remember, I'm looking for elite scholars today and every day in the Eagles. Now, scholars that are after the Fairview Five, they're making others around them better. They're, they're locked in and focused in on their teachers, and they're doing everything they can to have the best day that they can to make Fairview the greatest place it can be. So I'm looking forward to seeing you in action day. It's going to be a great Tuesday. Remember, good is good, great is great, but elite is elite. Have an awesome day.